when you're playing Dungeons Dragons or Pathfinder, uh, and you're always looking for a new mini for the table. Uh, when I went online on eBay and some of the other notable miniature sites, they always have like a great picture of the of the miniature by itself. So this is the Tiefling Warlock. It's pretty much humanoid. Like this is what most of your PCs would be in the game. This is the average size. So it's close to human. Of course, elves are either smaller or a little taller. Dwarves are shorter, etc., etc. But when you start thinking about getting bigger miniatures, and you always kind of want to do how big would they be when you ordered it and it showed up at your door. One of the miniatures I was looking at, because it is part of my campaign, uh, is the aspect of Tiamat. So we'll zoom out a little bit. That is aspect of Tiamat. This is one of the more rare ones. And it's actually, I'm sure there's a review on there about people's opinions on the paint jobs and stuff. This is just more of the size comparison when you have them on the table. So, that's the dragon. And then this would be your average PC. So what I'll do is I'll try and hold it up a little bit to try and get a better... So when you have the base size, he's huge. He goes right out of the screen, especially at this close. But at, that's menacing. That would be a great size of a encounter creature. This is gods. So when your characters reach uh, appropriate level, this is something that you might want to throw on the table and give them a good challenge. Looks great on the table and pretty fun to use. And you can, this is definitely a story arc that you can base a, almost an entire campaign about. Uh, I hope this gave you a quick idea of the size comparison to show when you order something like this miniature of the aspect of Tiamat and the price that they lose you charge. Now at least you have uh, somewhat of an idea of what it might be or how big it would be when it shows up at your door. Thanks for watching.